Traveler's Cat. Come, come, welcome. More fresh faces on their pilgrimage to the Divine. Ah, Natrada has a gift for spotting those with fate in their hearts. Let me then present yourself to our beast. May all Kosh grace you with love. Okay, what's this guy gotta do? Al Kosh's booming voice reaches far with every passing day, bringing new pilgrims for me to greet. Come, bring your offerings and kneel before the great cat return. Okay. okay, we're gonna skip that. Alright, so, um. We're gonna say no. We're gonna say no. A trial. No, thank you. No, thank you very much. Although, where are we on the map? Oh, we're all the way down there. Okay, that's not helpful. But it's not the worst. I mean, we've had worse, right? Where am I supposed to, Where am I going? I have no idea where we're going. Islands in the stream. That is what we are. boop a doop a doo heep a doop a doo Meh, whatever. Let's just go. Pretty butterfly. Just gonna tiptoe among the tulips. Do 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 do. Wait, I can get on my horse again because we're not in Rimmin. Buddy. Oh yes, this is where we ran into Raza Doom, which uh Razard are on vacation. I guess everyone comes from somewhere. talking about bro but it's cool just gonna run 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 ooh Excellent, excellent. We love this, uh, got more way shrines. Yeah. Like my path through this madness. Um, we'll come back for the madness. I promise. Everyone loves a little madness now, don't we? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm losing this dream. Burp, 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 burp. Quack, quack, quack. I don't, you know what? It's fine. I have to find a game that doesn't destroy my frame rates and drop me out of uh, drop me out of uh, streaming ooh it's an eyeball let's go see what the eyeball has to say for itself hello eyeball ooh nope that's a lion
Well, boofer. It is time for this one to share lore about Alkov, the Dragon King of Cats. Hey, he now. For now, that is the food. Alkosh? I'd rather be chased by guards than listen to this religious trek. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't blame you. Okay, I'm not a big uh, fan. Of the whole preachy preachness of it all, too. Oh, oh, Sky Shard. Thanks, buddy. Ooh, look at that. Um, buddy, come back here. You're like chasing. Oh, there we go. I don't need you chasing them right now. Dang it. I'm with you. I am with you. Huzzah. Come on. Is there like another? Oh, uh, maybe doubling back. Um, hello. There's this random guy here. Hey, how is that? Direct approach would be the best. It's always worth stocking up. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to be traveling to the town of Hakoshe, would you? Not really. Why did you ask? I'm investigating a rumor about the town's leader, Magnate Thana Darak. Word has it that she's a descendant of the Akaviri potentate. What? A rather curious rumor, given that the potentate's bloodline should have been wiped out over a century ago. Why are you investigating in this rumor? It's a personal matter pertaining to my grandfather's legacy. Painful as it is to say, my family's reputation depends on proving this rumor false. You wouldn't happen to be looking for work, would you? I could use a lending hand. I could help you investigate this rumor. Hakoshe was built after the fall of the Akaviri potentate. It's been... let's see now. A little over a hundred years now? Yes, right around that. The town was founded by the Akaviri refugees who fled during that time. Tell me more about the Akaviri. The Akaviri come from the land of Akavir, continent east of Tamriel. They first invaded Tamriel in the First Era, but were ultimately convinced to join the Empire. Hakushe is populated by their descendants. And you say the Akaviri were found... Or who founded Hak Hakushe were refugees? Yes. The Akaviri took the fall of the potentate as a rather obvious sign that they were no longer welcomed in Sirotid. Many of them fled to elsewhere. Hakushe is but one of the settlements that was founded. So the people of Hakushe are Akaviri? I suppose that's a matter of perspective. After all, generations of imperial marriages have considerably thinned the bloodline. Still, Hakoshe does strive to maintain Akaviri culture and customs, starting with the town's rather distinct name. What exactly is an Akaviri potentate? Potentate Vesidushe began his political career as advisor to Emperor Riemann III. When the Emperor was assassinated, the potentate stepped up as Cyrodiil's leader. Very fortunate for Vesidushe, of course. He was emperor in all but name. Did Verge plot the assassination? So goes the rumors, though nothing was ever proven. Unsurprisingly, an Akaviri on the ruby throne created conflict, 
The potentate was eventually assassinated himself. A few decades later, his heir was similarly slain. Who assassinated them? The Morag Tong, of course. Yeah, of course they did. Incompetent. Following the death of potentate Severian Chorak and his heirs, a large number of Akaviri and their followers left Cyrodiil. Many wound up here and elsewhere. I'd like to hear more about your grandfather's legacy. Is he is Morag Tong, I'm assuming. As an agent of the Morag yep, Tong, yep, yep. my grandfather had the honor of executing the last remaining heir of the Akaviri potentate. But here's the tricky bit. My grandfather and the heir both disappeared during the attempt. The Morag Tong presumed them dead. But now you have reason to think otherwise? Uh, if Magnate Fenadara truly is the descendant of the potentate, proves without a shadow of a doubt that my grandfather failed. And such failure would be a grave dishonor to my family name. That's why I'm keen to prove this rumor false. I see. Um, can you tell me more about the town? Hakoshe was built after the fall of the Akaviri potent. Oh yeah, okay, we already got that. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, well we might, we'll go back there eventually, I'm assuming. But, um, we, why is that still on my freaking map? All right, let's go back this way and look for the eyeballs, shall we? <laughs> oh, the, the, wait, what, what exactly is the, the perfect, oh, God damn it. So what's the um, perfect, the perfect game that I'm supposed to be playing? Sorry, I got distracted by the Morag Tong. Another. Did I not get it? Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> I mean... I suppose that is thousands of hours. Good times, good times, as they say. How the hell do I get to that stupid ass? Mm. Trying to get to this eyeball. Oh, wait, here we go, here we go, wait, wait. There we go. Shadow Dance Ruins Discovered. Hello, Lions. Hello, Lilon. How are you? How are you? Um, we are going to keep on going, if you know what I mean. We're just going to keep on keeping on. Thank you. Thank you. Well, since I said we were going to be going back, right? So. Oh, look at this town. It's so cute. Ooh, that's fun. do something of course i'll have the town guards investigate tonight thank you magnate fenadara and who do we have here come let us speak all right first of all let's get that lore book hi welcome to the town of hakoshe i must say it is not often i see a new face have you perhaps come to take part in our festival Festival? Approving festival, yes. 
Through a series of trials, the people of Hakoshi must prove themselves to their ancestors. We do so by completing three trials, otherwise known as the Three Proofs. Can you tell me about these three proofs? First, the proof of reference calls on our ancestors to witness our deeds. Second, the proof of strength displays our might and bravery. Lastly, the proof of wisdom tests our knowledge and wit. Through these trials, we show our worth. I'd like to join the festival if I may. Of course. I'm sure you too have ancestors you wish to honor. First, you must speak with Domitia Nasica. You'll find her just by the river. Listen well to her words, for she will guide you through your first trial. All right. Let me know if you have any other questions. I realize that Hakoshe can be quite the curiosity for travelers such as yourself. Couldn't help but overhear your conversation earlier. Some sort of trouble? Nothing to worry about. Domitia just hasn't been sleeping well. She believes there's something prowling around her house at night. I suspect it to be just bad dreams. But you're going to have the town guard search? Of course. I'd never dismiss a citizen who seeks my aid. Having the town guards investigate will help ease Domitia's fears. That alone may be enough to stop her nightmares. And if the dreams continue, I'll make sure she's seen by a healer. I see. Tell me about your town here. Though Hakoshi is known for its Akaviri ancestry, the truth is that our imperial bloodline runs far richer. Still, we honor our Akaviri ancestors by maintaining some of their customs. The Proving Festival is a shining example of that. Can you tell me more about yourself? I hold the title of Magnet, though I have no emperor who supports me. Still, my family has led Hakoshe since its founding and chose to take the title to reflect that role. It has been my honor to lead this town for over ten years now. Why has your family always led the town? Because it was our family who founded it. My ancestors wished to create a place of safety and peace where Akaviri traditions could continue to be passed down and honored. A goal I still strive to respect to this day. I can't help but notice your name. Is it Akaviri? Yes, as is my family's tradition. We tend to keep closer to our Akaviri heritage than most. I even speak a little of the language, though I suspect my accent is quite atrocious. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool, cool. Cool story, bro. This is a cute town, though. I love the... I love all the lanterns. Hail and all that. <laughs> Hail and all that. Yeah, baby. He's like, I'm taking this festival very seriously with all my drinking. Ah. I saw earlier. Do you need something? The magnate has allowed me to join the festival and said I should speak to you. Truly? That was certainly nice of her. Your first step is to complete the proof of reverence. This trial allows us to call upon our ancestors to watch over us as we prove ourselves worthy of their name. How do I do that? With this paper lotus. Write the names of your honored ancestors on its petals and place the lotus in the river. This will allow it to float into the afterlife. Think of it like a calling card. A way to get your ancestors to pay attention. Cool. I'll place the paper lotus in the water. Return to me when you've completed your task. Oh, and feel free to ask any questions you may have. This is Hakoshe's first proving festival in over a century, after all. I'm sure you're just as curious as everyone else. Huh. Tell me more about the proof of reverence. Before we can prove ourselves to our ancestors, we must first get their attention. The paper lotus acts as a ceremonial letter of sorts. By placing it into the river, we allow it to be carried into the realm of the dead. Is that based on Akaviri belief? Yes, it is. The Akaviri believe that all waterways connect the realms of the living and dead. 
There are many folk tales about boats being lost in heavy fog and landing on shores filled with restless spirits. And do you believe that? I used to when I was little. Whenever I would go jump in a puddle, my mother would yell, Stop that! You'll fall right into the afterlife. Truthfully, though, she just didn't want my dress to get muddy. And you said this was your first Proving Festival? Excited, of course. Honestly, I'm shocked we gave up the tradition in the first place. No one even remembered the festival existed until the magnate found an old record about it. If it's not a tradition, why did Cachet uh, decide to have the festival now? Our town doesn't have much wealth or power, but we do take pride in our ancestry. Learning about our Akaviri culture and celebrating it is important to us. And the Proving Festival is the perfect way to do just that. Very well. Uh, was Before we can prove our Oh yeah, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Alright, we're taking this thing and we're placing... Use the paper lotus. Oh, look how pretty. Let's see, uh, let's see how far it goes. I'm just gonna, just gonna watch it. Just gonna watch it float. Where's it going? It's like poo sticks. Do you ever play poo sticks when you're a kid? Ah, poo sticks. Oh, dang it, it's not like who sticks. It doesn't come out the other side. <laughs> Sad day. Okay. Let's go over here and talk to lady person. Through this proof, you have shown reverence. Well done. Next is the proof of strength. You'll need to... <sighs> to... <sighs> I am sorry. I'm just so tired today. There's been a lot of strange noises at night lately, and I haven't slept very well. Is that what you and the magnate were talking about? You overheard that? Ah, well, yes. I've started hearing noises at night. Heavy breathing, uneven footsteps that seem to shuffle about. At first I thought I was dreaming it all, but now? Now I am not too sure. Any idea what it might be? I don't, though the magnate has promised to send a patrol out tonight. Hopefully they'll find whatever it is. But you've got a proof to complete. Head over to Vectrasi for your next task. He's just a little ways west of here, right up the hill. All right. Good luck with the proof of strength, and let me know if you need anything. What a nice person she is. I'm just gonna take a bunch of crap out of these uh, barrels. You weren't looking. You don't mind, right? You don't mind. Let's see if there's anything up this uh, ooh, waterway. Anything up here? Oh, look! There is a chest. Rude. Now that we've done that, uh, let's go talk to this dude. Hey, dude. Hmm. What can I do for you, traveler? I'm here to complete the proof of strength. The magnate gave me permission. You wish to prove yourself before your ancestors. Very well. To the north lies a cave wherein beautiful sugar daisies grow. Bring me one, and you will have proved your strength. How does that prove my strength? Ah, didn't I mention? The cave also happens to be a cinch lion oh. And I doubt the beast will be particularly fond of your intrusion. Best of luck, traveler. All right, I'll bring you back the flower. Make sure to keep your senses about you. Cinch lions aren't beasts to take lightly. 
Tell me more about this proof of strength. The Akaviri have always placed a great emphasis on martial prowess. The proof of strength shows our ancestors that we remain strong and are prepared to face any danger that may befall us. Are the Akaviri known to be great warriors? The greatest. Akaviri warriors are known for both their might and magic. It was only because of their aid that General Riemann was able to pacify all of Tamriel under his rule. Why, it was Akaviri who founded the Dragon Guard. The Dragon Guard? Proud warriors who formed the Dragonborn Riemann's personal guard. Unfortunately, they seem to have disbanded after the Akaviri potentate fell. I still think they're around, though, waiting for their moment to return. Well, this would be a great time, uh, Dragonborn, to come out. Okay. Okay, which way am I going? Alright, we're going this way. Bro, no one said to stop and like fight those those tiger lions. Ah, piss off. I'm so sorry, Lion. I didn't want to kill the kitty cat. I did not want to kill the kitty cat. Kitty cat's my friend, but unfortunately, must kill kitty cat. Oh, so sad. Oh, don't come over here. Oh my god, how many are you gonna come out? Dude, seriously. We're all coming out of the woodworks now, just because I picked up a flower. You don't even care about flowers. You're a freaking carnivore. Alright, let's get the hell out of here before, like, someone comes over and, like, causes more trouble. Let's definitely get on the horsey, too. Get on that horsey! Never a dull moment. Yeah. That's true, never a dull moment. I do I do agree with that. successful I found the flower here you go most impressive I'd say you've certainly made your ancestors proud good thing too wouldn't want any unhappy spirits mucking about Hakoshe they bring all sorts of misfortune is this another Akaveri belief quite right it's part of why honoring our ancestors is so important happy ancestors gift their descendants with good fortune Wrathful ancestors, well, they do just the opposite. They curse us with misery, desolation, even death. Ugh, this is what my, my problem is. Yes, death. 
Of course, you would need to perform a great dishonor for such a punishment. Not that you have to worry about that. You've proven both your reverence and strength. Now, it's time to test your wit. Head to the town square and speak to the Lord. All right. Don't dawdle now. The proof of wisdom awaits you back in Hakushi. Cool. Hakushi. Hakushi. All right. I keep thinking, Dunker Shane, darling, Dunker Shane. Ooh, interesting. This looks like it used to have. This used to be like a waypoint. Why, if it isn't our town's mysterious stranger? Magnet Dana Derek told me all about your participation. Have you completed the first two proofs? I have, and was told to speak to you. Excellent, excellent. Then you are ready for the proof of wisdom. <clears throat> I am most useful when empty. I am most generous when full. What am I? I have to solve a riddle? Of course. What better way to show your wisdom? The riddle describes one of the items on this table. Choose the correct item and bring it to me. Only then will you pass the trial. Okay. Best of luck, dear. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. All right, what was the word of riddle again? I am most useful when empty. I am most generous when full. What am I? Okay. Oh, I see the table over here. Okay. A bowl, a candle, and a potion. I'm most useful when empty. I'm most generous when full. I guess a bowl. You've written. Yes, that is indeed the answer. Oh, I'm just so happy you guessed correctly. I was a little worried my riddle was too obscure. I had hoped Magnate Thena Darak would provide a riddle, but she's had her hands full with the festival. Poor thing. Poor thing? She just has a lot riding on her shoulders. We're all seeking to honor our ancestors, but the Magnate's ancestors are a bit, um, harder to live up to. I'm sure it's created a good deal of stress. I see. Thank you. May your ancestors be pleased by your actions, Travel. Cool. Um. Enjoying the festival, are we? Sarcastic, dark elf. I'm sure you've heard a great deal about Akaviri culture today, but tell me, did you learn anything about the Magnate herself? Her family has uh, led Hakoshe since the founding, and she's well respected and scholarly. Does that help? Hmm. Everything you've learned seems to support the rumor. A descendant of the potentate would certainly be given such privileges. However, my investigation calls for more concrete proof. A document would be best. Where would we find such a document? I've made some inquiries of my own. It seems that Magnate Fena Dara has quite a few records in the cellar of her home. We'll need to break in and search her documents. And how do you propose that we break in? We need a key, and I'm positive the captain of the guard carries one. If you would do me the kindness of chatting him up for a bit, I'll do my best to obtain the key. Should all go well, we'll be in and out before anyone notices. All right, I'll distract the guard. Very well. Let's get moving then. All right. Go flirt with the captain of the guard. Up there, that's the one what bested Captain Blackheart and banished his crew. That's totally me. Greetings. Say, aren't you the traveler who joined the Proving Festival? I am the traveler who completed the Proving Festival. Are you now? Well, that's certainly an impressive feat. Honestly, this whole affair has been nerve-wracking for me. 
I'm not too keen on dishonoring my ancestors. Who knows what misfortune would befall me? Were you able to complete the three proofs? To be honest, barely. The first two proofs were easy enough. Threw a paper lotus in the river, grabbed a sugar daisy for Vecdrasi. But that last proof, well, it stumped me. Couldn't for the life of me figure out the riddle. How did you solve it? I'll admit it, I had a little help. Magnate Fena Derok gave me a hint. She's a gracious lady, our Magnate. Always helping out folks in need. I'm not sure how Hakoshe would fare without her. Yeah, dude, we're not killing this lady. I see, well, best be off. Okay. Ah, yeah. Good flirting. Good times. Glad you could make it. Quickly now, let's head inside. Alright. Well, that's certainly odd. There must be something here to take down that barrier. Alright, uh, we're gonna... Don't need any cheese. Oh, nice. Okay. So many lock picks. So many lock picks. Table of elements. Hmm. I'm willing to bet those tablets would fit rather nicely into these sockets on the floor. The moon raises a staff and so lights up the east. Ziza waves her graceful wand and so drowns the south. A once one uh, south staff east. Okay. Um Great. Just put them all in. I've generally found that most doors have a way to. Them. Well, that certainly wasn't right. You had to try again. Yes, because I didn't realize that I had to do them like a certain way. Okay. Oh, all right. Um. East. Place the fire tablet. Um, so that's going to be east then, right? Okay. And what is this one? Wind is west. And now we got to do earth, which is north. Looks like that did it. Let's hit it. History vault. The magnate left a letter on her desk. Interesting, don't you think? Not really, but, um, you know, since she thought this was, like, a place where she would have privacy, but hey, let's do it. Okay. My dearest, I know our family carries many burdens. One day you will lead... Hakushé and ensure the property of our people, but who carries the blood of the potentate, a connection which provides both blessing and a curse, you must you must prepare. Family has never allowed the word of our lineage to go beyond the Hakushé's wall for good reason. Rogue tongues still haunt the shadows of Tamriel, and they will not take news lightly. As descendants of the potentate, we have seen the loose ends to tie up. To ensure our family's safety, we must closely guard the secret. It's the only way. Forever yours, mother. Seems this letter confirms that the magnate is descended from the potentate. What a pity. Just what are you two doing here? Get out at once! Traitor! How dare you claim to be of my blood? What? What's happening? Please, no! Well, let you talk. <laughs> well, 
it seems we've confirmed that Thana Darak is a descendant of the Potentate. Just in time for her to be whisked away by some vengeful spirit. Just my luck. Why would a spirit abduct the Magnate? Isn't that part of the Akaviri's beliefs? Disrespect your ancestors and they'll have their revenge. And given the spirit's armor, he was definitely Akaviri. <laughs> huh. Makes me wonder what the Magnate did to deserve such a fate. So you believe the spirit is when the Magnate f uh, dark to I'm not that? sure, but <laughs> as good a guess as any. Given the turn of events, we'd best go after them. Perhaps the local tombs? I know ghosts. They don't often wander far from their graves. Given the turn of events, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Some Akaviri is so upset with the Magnate that he's returned from the dead. And if I'm to see this investigation through to the end, I need to learn why. Let's head to the tombs. It's just east of the town square. Can't miss it. Alright, let's head to the tombs. Absolutely stupid. But okay. You could make it. Oh, shut up. I don't have NTC speed. I see them just up ahead. Still, you hunt me, assassin scum. Was my death not enough? Hey. This disappearing act is getting very old, very fast. That act very spirit seems to recognize you. Any idea why? He seems to think that I was the ma who assassinated him. Could be a simple case of mistaken identity. After all, my mother always did tell me I bear a striking resemblance to my grandfather, Mephistara. So your grandfather assassinated the Akaveri we're chasing. As a member of the Morag Tong, my grandfather executed a great number of people. But, given the location and the armor the spirit wears, let's move ahead. I have a feeling we'll get our answer soon enough. Alright, let's move ahead. Best if we split up and go our separate ways. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 totally. Let's split up and not safety in numbers because it's a freaking tomb with, you know, pissed off ghosts. That's totally reasonable. Totally. Ooh, let's sell some uh, ghost money, shall we? Here we go. Here's some coins, more coins. All right. I mean, why not? Gold isn't haunted, right? Mm-hmm. Any gold over here? I guess not. Bummer. Your, uh, your descendants don't love you as much. Oh, hey, buddies. Ectoplasm. Heck yeah. Any, any, any gold here? No? Fine. This world is done with you. Yeah, bruh. We're so over it. Oops, that's way too far.
Rude. Very rude. Dude, seriously, all they have is water? That's bull pucky. Better luck next time. Oh, wait. We got a basket on this one. Damn it. Coins. It's true. We are pretty badass. Gonna just check around here. Just uh, see if there's any, you know, some loose coins that uh, we could possibly, uh, you know, honor our ancestors with by taking. Apparently not. It's fine. It's fine. Anything over here? Oh, is that coin? It's a coin to me, but apparently, yeah, fine. Not every place is gonna have something to pilfer, I guess. Even though that's the whole point. Ooh, wait. Sack. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, see you later. Thank you so much for stopping by. And dealing with my crappy stream issues. I appreciate it. Proconsul Balorin Kai, I presume? Very good, Assassin Scar. You and your companion have been most insistent. Come, let us speak. Faina Darrow is called my spirit to judge her. By her quill, my name was written. By her hands, the paper lotus placed. And so I have come to punish her wickedness. And yet you try to stop me. Who are you to deny me my revenge? Why do you crave revenge? When I escaped Cyrodiil, I had but one man to protect me. Someone I placed my utmost faith in. My utmost trust. Lieutenant Blind Bardwick. But when it came time to guard me from my Morog Tong assassin, my protector fled. So Morog Tong assassinated you? Yes. Though not before I was able to inflict a mortal wound myself. Both I and my assassin died that day. But not my part. He looted my corpse and claimed my name. It was he who founded Hakoshe, not Oof. I. Why abduct Magnate Fianna Dark? She didn't betray you. Her family continued to spread the lies of my betrayer. For centuries they have proclaimed themselves nobility. But all they have inherited lies. She must renounce her title and tell her people the truth. Only then will I be content. I'll relay the message to her. Go then and convince Feyna Dayrock to speak the truth. Only that will save her. What prompted your return? 
The Proving Festival is a time for the Akabiri people to commune with their ancestors. Not only does it allow the dead to view the living world, it also invites us to cross over. Bummer. Vena Derok called me to judge her. I have come to do so. But she didn't do anything. She was her ancestor who stole her identity. And so I did not kill her. As I attempted to kill Line Varduik when first this festival was held. My lieutenant also summoned me by our ancient rites. Though he did not realize this. I was compelled to cross over and judge his wicked ways. But you weren't successful? Line Varduik was a strong mage in his own right. He cast me away. For centuries, I have waited for another proving festival, but I suspect that Line Varduik took precautions against my return. But now, at last, the truth can be revealed. All right. I can't believe it. The founder of Hakushe, my ancestor, he lied. It seems to be the case. Uh, will you speak the truth? You don't understand. To admit such a horrid truth wouldn't just dishonor me. It would dishonor my entire family. All of my ancestors who have done such great things for Hakushe will all be disgraced. How can I do that? So you want to keep lying about your ancestry? I... No. No. I don't want to keep lying. The citizens of Hakushe deserve nothing but my complete honesty. Even if it comes at the cost of my family's reputation, I'll do it. Ancestors, forgive me, but I'll tell everyone the truth. Let's get going, then. I'll be watching, Fena Dera, waiting for you to speak the truth. I'll keep my word. Well, it seems like it's time to get going, then. I'll meet you in the town square. <laughs> He's like, well, this is this fun. <laughs> like, what a <hello>, weirdo. <laughs> Just... Enjoy the hell out of this whole thing. Oh my god. Freaking Morag Tong, man. See what you're made of. Yeah, we're just gonna uh, skip that. to stop us. Oh yeah, I have just talked to this dude. It seems my investigation has come to an end. The rumor was false, my family name is cleared, and no one even needed to be executed. A happy ending all around, wouldn't you say? Someone was going to be executed? The Morag Tong isn't one to leave loose threads, even one that's been dangling for over a century. Luckily for Fena Dara. My grandfather was able to complete his writ. Yeah, a reward for services rendered. Mm -hmm. Now, despite our daring rescue, I'm certain the magnate doesn't want a member of the Morag Tong hanging about. Though it does look like she's about to make her big announcements, doesn't it? Well, perhaps I'll stick around long enough to watch. <laughs> what an asshole. Were you really gonna kill? If I had to. My preference was always to prove this rumor false, of course. Still, a writ is a writ. If my grandfather failed to do his duty, then I would have done it for him. Simple. But your grandfather's writ was for... that other dude. My grandfather was following a writ which called for the death of potentate Severian Shorak and all his heirs. 
Had Fena Darak been a descendant of the Proconsul, her execution would also fall under this writ. Naturally. Seems like a technicality. I'll let the Morag Tong know your feelings soon as I'm back in Morrowind. <laughs> I'm sure they're just dying to hear your opinion. Listen, we've had um, our differences, and we've also come together on a few things, so they do appreciate my opinion. The Morag Tong is an organization of assassins. Agents are assigned writs of execution, perform said executions, and then go along the merry way. That's the long and short of it in any case. Like the Dark Brotherhood. Let's insult him more. not to compare us to those lunatics. Our practices, morbid as they may seem, are perfectly legal and keeping with Dark Elf traditions. Oh, yes, they are. I kill only who I am sanctioned to kill. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what's going on. My family has long claimed to be descended from the potentate. But this is not the truth. The man who founded the town, my ancestor, was a traitor. He betrayed Proconsul Valoran Kai and stole his name. My family's legacy is only a lie. I revoke my title as magnate. And should you decide it, I will leave Hakoshe forever. This dishonor is mine to bear. And I accept it. No! We still want you to be our magnate! You're an honorable woman, Fena Dara. You deserve to leave this town. Everyone, thank you. Thank you so much. Finally, I am a bet. Greetings, traveler. I hope you're doing well. You seem rather happy, given all that's happened. Honestly, I'm still wrapping my head around it all. My entire life, I thought that I was a descendant of the potentate. To realize that was a lie is... Well, it's hard. But I'm still Fena Dera. I know who I am. And so too do my people. So you're going to continue to be the magnate? Yes. For as long as Hakoshe will have me. And even if that changes, I'll still do my best to help this town however I can. This is my home. No matter who my ancestors were or were not. I realize that now. Goodbye. Now, despite our daring rescue, I'm certain the Magnate doesn't want a member oh, right, right, right. Saying the same thing. Okay. Well, let's go a little north and see what this is about, and then maybe call it a day. Cha-cha! to Surindar's Cradle. I hope you brought your own water skin. Or you could buy one off me. My rates are reasonable, given the drought. What's wrong with the auditorium? Water, or rather the lack of it. Something stopped the flow from the aqueduct to Surindar's Cradle. I've been hauling water for them in the meantime, but they can't keep this up forever. What's the problem with the aqueduct? Don't know. Old stones, old gates and levers. Who can say for sure? I overheard the adepts discussing the trouble. A young one, Vosby, seems keen to solve the issue. If you want to know more, she's the person to ask. All right, I'll find Vosby and learn more about the water problems in Sendar's Cradle. Cool, cool. Yeah. In sickness and in health. Oh yeah, that is a t that is a crazy aqueduct. Look at that thing. There was another one. 
further down there, wasn't there? Oh yeah, okay. Let's see, what else is going on? Just a bunch, <sighs> just a bunch of stuff, no worries. Oh, that's where I need to go? The Super Queen, you Super Queen! Oh, and then there's like this eyeball. Starhaven Auditorium. All right, well, I think this is a perfect, perfect place to start. Stop. Oh my God, someone's playing their bass so, it's just like, shaking the plates on my table. <laughs> I'm like, dude. There's bass and then there's bass. Like, you're gonna blow out your eardrums, but you know what? Do you do you. Okay. Um, yeah, let's call this a day.